Hey everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my pet channel. And in today's video, as you can see from the title and all of these packages beside me, I will be upgrading my pet snail enclosure today. I have upgraded their enclosure twice now. I first had a pretty small glass enclosure that I got from Etsy and it was just a little too small for me. It was accumulating poop way too much in my opinion. And then I switched to a critter keeper and the critter keeper is like big enough and I think it works well, but it does not keep in the humidity to the level that I want it to be at because um, I believe that these are milk snails and milk snails need like 90 to 100% humidity at all times and glass is the best way to do that. So I'm switching them back to a glass enclosure but something that is bigger and better and honestly just looks better in my opinion. So I'm going to unbox everything and we're just gonna set it up. I'm gonna show you the snails, give you some snail content because a lot of you guys have been asking for the snails since, since I filmed them in my last videos. It's like one of my most viewed videos on this channel. So I will be giving you some more snail content today. So I'm going to show you guys everything that I have bought for this upgrade and then I'll show you me doing everything. So first up here, I ordered a bag full of moss. I didn't realize that there was going to be this much moss. It's a whole bag full of it. Um, I ordered this from eBay. Yeah, I ordered it from eBay. Last time I ordered moss from Etsy, it took a long time to get to me and it was pretty expensive. So I don't know what kind of moss this is, honestly. It's just some moss that the person found like outside where their snails live. I really don't know what kind it is, but it looks just like the moss that I bought before, the sphagnum moss. So we're going to be using this. This is real from someone's like literal backyard. And I'm excited for it because there is a lot in this bag. And then we have a box from Chewy. We love Chewy because their shipping literally takes a day. All right, so from Chewy, I bought this Mopani wood for the enclosure. I was gonna go outside and try to find some sticks and stuff outside, but I do live in an apartment complex and I just don't wanna be that weirdo that's like out there looking for sticks and stones while everybody drives past me. I just, I can't physically make myself do it. So I bought this. It's the exact same size as my enclosure, so it should fit perfectly. And it's a nice texture for the snails to use. I'm gonna put a bunch of moss around it. I looked up Mopani wood and it said it was safe for land snails. So I'm hoping it is. If you guys have a little bit more knowledge on it definitely let me know but i did research the wood beforehand because there is some wood that is toxic to snails and then i also got some more eco earth it came in a three pack for like five dollars which is super super cheap compared to the pet store so i'm gonna have eco earth to last me for quite a while now and i can use this for my crested gecko as well because usually about a block works for my snails. So yeah, I'm gonna use the, the, the dirt that they're already in as well. So those are the two things that I got from Chewy. They were super cheap. I really like how cheap Chewy is, honestly. And lastly, we have the enclosure. So I bought this from Amazon. It's an Exoterra. I have an Exoterra for my Crested Gecko and I love it. And honestly, I wanna buy more Exoterras because I think they're really great quality for the price that they are. I got the mini. I believe it's called the mini 12 by 12 by 12, but let's see how big it actually is. I've never actually seen this size in person. It was out of stock at my local pet store. So I had to order it online. I don't know why they put it in such a huge box, but it's inside of here and all of this box is just. Hello, Mochi. It's Mochi's birthday. Happy birthday. All right, so as you can see from the box, this is the Exoterra Natural Terrarium Mini Wide. All right, so here is what it looks like, guys. So this is a 12 by 12 by 12. Literally, I think the perfect size for a couple of snails. It's just glass. I'm going to take out the background just because I feel like it's going to get really gross with their like slime mucus stuff that they excrete from their body. It has stainless steel mesh. I'm probably gonna cover the top of it with saran wrap just to keep all of the humidity in because it needs to be really high humidity so yeah this is what we are upgrading to definitely a lot bigger than before we'll be able to decorate it a lot more i'm going to use a lot of the old stuff too okay guys that was my little haul so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to start setting up this new tank i'm going to do exactly what i did last time and make a drainage layer with a bunch of rocks and some mesh then put the dirt on and then start doing the decorating and then i will show you guys the snails in here the snails are buried right now so i won't really be able to show you them i'll have to dig them out to show you what they look like and to put them in the new tank. So here it is, really nice. I was not expecting it to be this big, honestly. Like you hear the dimensions of something, but you really never know what it's gonna look like until you see it. And this is really nice. So let's go ahead and start decorating.
I put almond and cashew down on my little leaf thing here. And here is what the inside of the enclosure looks like. I'm actually very proud of this. This actually looks incredible. And this moss is literally amazing. So it looks like one of them is trying to come off. Let's see if he'll go on my hand. Right, guys as you can see we have cashew here trying to get out already after putting them right back inside of the enclosure and then the darker one back there his name is almond and they are just kind of looking around exploring wants to go back on my hand i guess they're both inside the enclosure now and I've been filming most of it on my phone because my camera is honestly just not as good as quality as my iPhone 12. So um, it shows like really nice quality, but when it comes to like the details, the quality on my phone is so much better. But here they are. Here is Cashew and then Almond is right there. And they're just exploring right now. They've just been exploring around. Cashew keeps wanting to come out <laughs> of the enclosure. But here's kind of a tour of the inside. I tried to cover most of the wood, like from the areas that they could fall from. So if they're climbing on the glass, if they fall, they'll fall on top of the moss. And I'm planning on putting like food on top of this right here because it's flat. So it would hold like a little food tray pretty well to put their food in. And yeah, I need to buy a digital hygrometer. That's the next thing that I'm gonna buy. I forgot to buy it for this upgrade, but I'm gonna buy a digital one because I had one, but it wasn't working that well. So I will be buying another one just to keep up with the humidity, but I have, I don't think there's gonna be any issues with this enclosure when it comes to the humidity. I I am literally obsessed with this. I find it so beautiful. So let me just tell you a little bit about what I did. Um, it, also, it is currently on my bed, it will not stay on my bed. But I did a layer of rocks and then I did a couple layers of mesh and like grating for the drainage layer. And then I put the eco earth and I kind of made it go up, you know, higher at the back. I put the wood and I put all of the moss around here. I really like the cellar I bought the moss from so I'll put the cellar from of the moss down below if I can remember but as you can see we have a full drainage layer. Not much dirt seeped through so there shouldn't be any issues with that and I poured the previous dirt from the pre their previous enclosure in here so there is springtails that are in here currently. You probably won't be able to see them but there are springtails in here so they will be you know cleaning up the poop and cleaning up the extra food and stuff that's left over. So there is a little colony of springtails in here. So, I mean, I feel like I have kind of like a bioactive enclosure. I've never actually had a bioactive um, enclosure before and I'm just, I'm really happy with it. So I will be doing some footage of them eating and stuff just so you guys can see that. But there is the enclosure upgrade. If anyone is wondering, this is the food that I give them two to three times a week. And then the other days I give them fresh food. 
So like vegetables and fruit and stuff like that, mainly vegetables. So this is what they're getting today. I got this off of Etsy and I will try to remember to put it down below. It's basically a dewormer and it's also just yummy snail food. So I basically just spray it really good and then mix it where it's not like completely dry anymore. I basically make like a little porridge. I didn't really take into account where the food would go when I was making this. <laughs> there we go. It fits perfectly in that little crevice. <laughs> So if they want to eat, they can eat right there. I was hoping it would fit right there, but it's kind of just a little too awkward. I'll probably put like the fruits and veggies sitting on that. There's their food. Hey guys, so it is two days later and the snails have thriving. They have not buried themselves at all. They have been staying out. And I think that's just because the humidity has been so much better up top instead of in the dirt. And I haven't sprayed yet this morning because as you can see, one of the snails is sleeping literally <laughs> on the line of the door. The other one is sleeping right there and i know that they're sleeping because their antennas aren't out so they're kind of just hanging i want to open the door but i can't but the moss is thriving and i've been keeping this window open so it keeps a little bit of sun on the moss but not a lot and i think it's going to do really well the inside of the enclosure literally smells like a forest it smells absolutely amazing. It gives me so much happiness literally opening it. It's just like a little box of nature in my bedroom and I love it, especially because it's on my altar, which is already just so like magical and witchy anyway. So I really, really like it. I will try to remember to put all of the links down below for everything that I showed in the video. I haven't been able to get any footage of them eating fruits and vegetables yet just because I haven't given it to them, but I will try to take some videos and post it on my Instagram story if you guys would like to see it. Here is the side of the enclosure, by the way, this side. I really like this moss. It's really, really green, which adds a really nice pop of color. Sorry that I look super tired. I literally did a 12 hour live stream on Twitch yesterday and then didn't go to sleep until six in the morning. So I am exhausted, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. This is probably my like favorite enclosure I have ever made. Cause like I said, it's just like a little cube of nature and i just love it so much if you guys have any questions feel free to comment down below make sure to check out all of my social medias down below and all of my other channels down below but i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you next time bye guys <laughs> <laughs>